Laugh that 10 out. All right, let's strike for real. And 10 on the bank. <laughs> what is happening? Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. It's crazy, all four of us are right here. I'm Jimu. I'm Simu. Jomo Barks. So today we are doing the best balls of 2022. What's the plan for today, Jungo? Uh, so we're gonna have two of our favorite balls from 2022. We're gonna throw a couple of shots with them, hopefully strike, explain why we like them, where they fit in our bag, and then that'll be about it. So eight balls total, two each. Awesome, so make sure to watch the entire video to see the best balls of 2022. Who should start? I'll start. Okay, fine. All right guys, we're here on the lanes. First favorite ball of 2022, the Idle Cosmos. It's gotta be an Idle, right? I feel like Storm and Rotogrip have really good symmetric and asymmetrical solids. So these symmetrical pearls really complement those balls here in the lineup in 2022. So these are a couple of my favorites. Let's throw it a couple times. Oh, just like that. Roll a two, baby. Like a fresh house condition here. So these symmetrical pearls probably won't look that good on this condition, but later in the day, if it's been bowled on a bunch, these are when these balls really come into play. So I feel like I have like a really good round bag right now where I can fit any condition. I can play any part of the lane with Storm Roto Grip stuff. And uh, these symmetrical pearls are one of the best later in the day when the lanes dry up a bit. Okay, one more with the Cosmos here. I missed slightly to the right on the last shot, so we're gonna move right, get it to the same spot. Hopefully it'll face up. Almost rolled it again. All right, I think I gotta move a couple more after that. Still a toop in there. All right, that's better. Really nice ball. All right, now we'll throw the fate a couple times. Uh, this is going a little bit longer, a little bit more continuous, a little sharper than the Idle Cosmos here. So a really good compliment. Another reason why I like both of these balls in my bag. So if you watch the Frankie vid on Arsenal with the Idle Cosmos, one step down, he's got the phase five. I like using the fate. Yeah, so that was like pretty close to the same line as the Cosmos. It's really sharp at the back end. Way more angular, way more continuous. Really good to have the kind of like the last ball in your bag when the lanes are really fried. Okay, one more strike. Let's go with two left. What is happening? I promise you, this ball strikes when the lanes are fried. Yes. Okay, let's see what Barks got from the Brands of Brunswick. Hey guys, Barks is back. We just heard from Jungle about his favorite balls. Let's talk a little bit about mine. So the first one we got, and we talked about this one a lot at Bowl Expo, we talked to the guys at Brunswick. This is the one they're most excited about, the Track Stealth. So for me, my benchmark ball in the middle of my bag used to be a damn good verge. Really strong cover stock, but the core wasn't quite strong enough to match up to what I wanted. Uh, with the Stealth here, you have an equally strong cover stock, but a bigger core inside, bigger engine. It's a really good ball. You can use on a lot of different patterns. It's going to be one that you take to tournaments with you. Um, just a versatile piece. And 10 on the back. So as you can see, plenty strong. Not a ball that digs in super, super early. You see a lot of back end motion with that still. I finished a little high in the head pin, so I'm going to have to move a little bit right. In my opinion, there's nothing better than a black ball going down the lane. I really like that ball. 
So ball number two, you might be a little surprised, or maybe not if you know me well enough, purple reactive from Hammer. If you watch the review for this one where I compared it against the purple urethane, I didn't feel like they were very complementary of each other. I think that had more to do with the surface that came out of box. I did sand this one to 500 to try and kind of match that a little bit more. To me now it's more complementary. So you see a ball that, that gets into a roll early and it's more of a tumbly type ball motion. It doesn't go sideways off the back end. So comparing this to a stealth, this should be probably five feet earlier. Cover the same amount of boards. There's a very different shape off the end of the pattern. Yeah, I got that a little further left, picked up early, and just kind of arced into the pocket. Didn't really want to go sideways. It saw the friction a little bit earlier and didn't really jump. So if anyone out there got a purple reactive and thought it was a little too clean, a little too sharp, hit it with a bunch of surface. I think you'll like the uh, end result. I'll throw one more here and we'll send it off to Simu. See what he has to say. There you go, off to Simu. Simu's finally back on the lanes. For me, I had to pick two balls and it was really easy because I only got three balls in 2022. Just kidding. So the first ball I picked here was the Cuda here from Columbia 300. This is the most recent ball I got. You can watch Mitch's review over here. For me, I really like this because it's super smooth, super controllable and super versatile. So not the best first hit there, left a nine pin. But you can see as a lower rev player, when I like to play straighter up the boards, this ball is super controllable and off the spot. It doesn't go crazy hard through the face. All right, let's strike for real. It's okay. So there it is, the Cuda, my favorite ball of 2022. Super versatile and I bring it with me everywhere. Second ball is the Infinite Physics. So shout out to our good friend Mark Buffa, drilled this one for me down in Montreal. I love this ball a lot. You might know that I really like the proton physics, so this just plays off it perfectly. So as you can see there, the ball gets down super, super easy being the pearl cover stock, and it really turns that corner and drives through the pins. We know this core is a tank, really likes to move, so let's try to throw one more good one and we'll send it over to Jimu. Over to Jimu. Okay, last up, but definitely not least, it's your favorite two-hander, Jimu. Favorite balls of 2022, my first one is the Radical Rattler. I'm always looking for smooth, controllable, and this ball gives me a really good ball reaction down lane, and it also has a really nice kick in the back. Compliments my face too. Love it. Ooh, messenger kicked that out of there. I didn't really have any expectations for that ball when I got it, but once I threw it on the lane, comparing it to that phase two, it's beautiful. Let's get another nice one here. Oh, slap that 10 out. Final ball of our favorite balls of 2022. Mine is the Zen U. This urethane ball from 900 Global gives me a reaction from urethane that I haven't seen before. It's very strong. And like you saw in the review, great compliment to the pitch black purple hammer. Move a few right on this house shot and see how it goes. For a urethane ball, 
It's crazy. I can't believe I can stand so far inside the pattern, throw it out, and still have that ball recover. One more strike here from Jimu, and we're gonna send it back. Oh! For real this time. Lovely, let's talk. We are back from the lanes. Thank you so much for watching all of our ball reviews of 2022, including this video. We hope that this inspires you to get the ball that you want out of this year. Now, our question's a hard one this week. What is your favorite ball of 2022? Let us know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support this year as well. 2022 was a really, really big year for the channel, and we can't wait to see what 2023 has in store. See you next year.